The reason I'm making this video is because I saw a guy playing Star Marine and he said he was using Tandrift 3D to uh, get 3D effects out of it. And uh, people were asking him how he was doing it, but he never got around to posting about it, so I've been working on it. And uh, I'm going to do that now. We're putting these down here so we can get to them later. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start that uh, Tender 3D. Alright, now I'm going to pick the game. I'm going to play the 3D game. This will pop up a thing. Now I've added game here with this here. And then just highlight that, go in the game right there and launch it. Now this is the trial version 14 days. I haven't bought it yet, but I probably will because it works for what I'm doing here this purpose and by the way this is use at your own risk sign in and launch the game and what this does is it splits the screen there we go and I'm getting uh, up to 60 frame rate because that's as high as my monitor goes Okay, we're in end game now. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the hangar right now. Oops. <laughs> see, is it this one? Yeah. Um, there we go. Actually, I haven't been able to play very much lately, so I'm kind of rusty. But I want to go to this hangar because that's where I got my ship out. So walk around and there we kind of check things out all right here we are so first thing I want to do is tap back to desktop and now this is uh, see if I can find it with my mouse there we go this is to start the desktop board yeah there it is right there the viewer all right Okay, and one thing you want to make sure you do over here, come on, get on there, is you want to pause the watcher. Okay. And then we'll go back into the game. to start the watcher. I mean, okay, there we go. It's probably going to give me an error. Yep.
There we go. Zoom in the watcher. And it's starting um, the other drivers. Okay, now we're in. With the, with the Oculus, i got to take my headset off. Put on my Oculus. Okay, I'm in the desktop viewer, and the way I have my settings at the moment, it really kind of strains your eyes because it's set for um, uh, Star Citizen. Let's see if I can get back into Star Citizen. It takes a little doing. All right, I'm back in. Okay, great. Here, as you can, it looks really good. Clean. And everything. Okay, now it's important that I go ahead and try and to achieve my settings because there on my vortex because it does a whole lot of stuff all right mode here. Alright. Try to get a good look at that. And I'll change pages. Just go back and tell you what. On the main screen, I got virtual cinema mode on, scene none, local head tracking off, and that's important. Okay, screen distance minus one, aspect ratio audio, and you, t for eye comfort, you may want to set that however you want it. The screen's uh, curvature zero and vertical is off and uh, anti-lasing room is off. Okay, content type is normal. Screen type is SBS, that's side by side. Flip left or right on. Now that doesn't do a whole lot. Uh, crystal image normal brightness one saturation one and sharpen about zero now I'm going to turn the half size back off okay I wonder what caused that okay half uh, at direct Anthony uh, and sync render is on uh, 
direct mode fluid sink is on uh, GPU sync safest black flicker off ed edge peak one head tracking on and head tracking sensitivity is all the way out to five head roll on and everything else off there and I don't I do not have touch sense so that doesn't give me anything and um, uh, mouse gaming settings, mouse acceleration, no, and off and off and off. And then I don't use the VR hotkeys, and we're back to the main setting page, and I'm going to hit save. Okay, let's recenter. There we go. quite some time but you can tell from one eye to the other that it's a little bit better than it was and when you hover over the ports here they look a little bit different and you're not going to be able to tell you because what you're seeing is my screen view. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring up exit to the menu. I have not even been in space yet. And just do a commander. Okay, a little bit of single player. And just free flight. And hit begin. And I, I got to do all the adjustments so I don't steer with my head tracking like that. I don't like that because I fly with a, a Cougar Hotch, which is a real nice stick. But I don't have it set up so I can't really do a whole lot. Like I said, I haven't been flying. This is a new build. And I think that's going to be it for now because I want to, to post this to this is try to help you guys go a little bit further on the 3D before uh, Chris Roberts gets it to 
native in the game, which I'm really looking forward to that happening, hopefully fairly soon, but I'm not sure if this is stereoscopic or not, but it feels pretty good, it looks pretty good. Flies pretty good. And that's it for now. I'll tell you why. I'll see you all in the verse and good luck and try to make 3D better. Yeah, I'm looking around. I can't move them too much to see my... The thing is, is you need to get the screen a little closer so when you look down, your pivot point down is better. And we'll go back to the hangar right now. Okay, next to the main menu. Yes. See you all in the verse. This is Bad Boy. Out. Good luck.